Some big news coming in. Mehbooba Mufti backs Pakistan terror stooges. She tweets, and I quote, criminalizing livelihood on preposterous reasons of terror links at a time when the state is reeling from unemployment is only deepening the trust deficit. This is Mehbooba Mufti who speaks on a, a bunch of government employees in Kashmir who have been sacked and, and, and reprimanded for allegedly having links with terror groups. Mehbooba Mufti now responding to it as she says, and I tweet, uh, as, uh, and I quote uh, her tweet as she says, criminalizing livelihood on preposterous reasons of terror links at a time when the state is reeling from unemployment is only deepening the trust deficit. As we know, three of the government employees who are allegedly uh, linked with some terror groups, uh, this, the officials are right at this point have suspended them and have also arrested them is what we hear. And this is the 50th or, or, or rather fifth, uh, nearly 50 government officials who have been uh, arrested for allegedly having links with terror organizations. Mehboba Mufti responding to it. Uh, let me quickly cut across to Sunil Jiba joining us live for more on that. Sunil, give us more. Mehboba Mufti says uh, livelihood, unemployment are, are issues that need to be addressed with immediate effect. But seems like the focus is wrong here. This is more or less what she said, uh, claiming that there is deepening trust deficit among the people of Kashmir. These three government employees who have been terminated from this that the JNK uh, administration carried out a thorough these of the JNK administration were working in close that this decision has been taken. Uh, one of these three, you know, government employees, which is uh, who, who who was serving as the PRO of the Kashmir University. On social media, he has been writing anti-India content. He has been writing pro-Pakistan content and that proves that uh, you know he was somehow linked uh, to some pro-Pakistan groups and there were you know uh, there was further evidence of his involvement in aiding and abetting terrorism in the Kashmir Valley so it's only after the after a thorough investigation was carried out that these employees have been terminated and this exercise has been on since the abrogation of article 370 and 35a because there was a terror ecosystem that was existing in Jammu and Kashmir uh, prior to abrogation of Article 370 and there has been a major crackdown on this terror ecosystem and as part of uh, this exercise against uh, uh, the terror sympathizers, uh, the JNK administration carried out investigation, they identified all those who were involved in terror activities and those government employees have been kicked out of the, uh, you know, administration. Now political parties like PDP, uh, PDP Chief Mahbuba Mufti, uh, she has tweeted and she has, uh, you know, uh, slammed the JNK administration for, the, for this decision. They are saying that there is trust deficit among the people. Uh, Nabila, I will just, uh, uh, you know, talk to former German Kashmir Director General of Police, Mr. Kuldeep Khoda. He joins me live here from Jammu. Uh, Mr. Khoda, uh, you must be aware of the decision that has been taken by the JNK administration. Um, you know, how do you see this? This is very important decision and uh, such decisions is, are only going to help reduce the militancy, reduce the radicalization in Kashmir. This problem has been a long-standing problem over decades and it is very good now since last few years an effective action is being taken against these overground people, especially those who are serving the, the administration and it is bound to give results. Such action was needed to be taken long back but somehow during political governments these actions become difficult to take for various reasons which one can understand including the vote back politics and now that the central administration uh, headed by the Lieutenant Governor is taking very effective actions to reduce the uh, factors which are responsible for terrorism, radicalization, uh, the channeling of funds to terrorists and overground workers. You know, all these actions are uh, required to contain the terrorism, to, uh, to, to eliminate the terrorism rather. But, uh, you know, leaders like Mahbubha Mufti are criticizing the JNK administration. They are saying that this kind of action is not required at a time when there is, you know, uh, unemployment in Jammu and Kashmir. This is precisely the problem uh, which leads to the radicalization and continuation of terrorism in Kashmir. Because the vote bank politics has been creating huge problems in the past also. And this is again to address some particular vote uh, pockets 
in absence of taking action against those who are helping sustain terrorism who are providing them support in various forms right. who are acting at the behest of the, uh, the ISI and the Pakistan right. establishment right. in furthering the terrorism and furthering the cause of terrorists okay. this is only going to lead to problems and such type of action is very much required and I'm very happy that these right. actions are being taken because right. only eliminating the terrorists in the operations is not going to finish terrorism as we have seen in the past. Right. 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 So you just uh, heard from the Mr. former Hadi. top cop of Jammu and Kashmir police, Mr. Kuldeep Khoda. He's clearly saying that this step was necessary. It was very important that, uh, you know, uh, terror sympathizers within the JNK administration, that they should have been kicked out. It's very important. It's not just, you know, direct action against terrorism, but even the terror sympathizers right. who are in JNK administration, it's important that action is taken even against Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Nabila. So, Nabila, thank you very much for joining us. On that